Hello arty people! Today I'm going to show you how I made this little toast scene featuring the kitchen worktop I made in my last video. I will put a link to that video if you missed it. I'm going to start by making the toaster. I've already cut out my pieces from this brown Amazon card. I just need to cut the two slits in the top piece which is where the bread goes. I've also cut a piece of card which will sit inside the toaster and will be able to be pushed up and down with the little piece sticking out, just like a real toaster. Now I'm ready to stick it all together using PVA glue. Before sticking the top piece on, I'm going to paint the inside of the toaster black. Then I can stick the top piece on, along with two little strips of card on the base of the toaster for a bit more realistic detail. With the glue dry and the toaster feeling pretty solid, I can now paint it. I'm starting with a base coat of grey and then silver on top. Then I'm going to paint the base of the toaster black. And finally, I'm going to add some wire coming out of the back of the toaster. After cutting a piece of wire to the size I want, I need to make a hole in the toaster with a pin, which I can then poke the wire through. Now it's time to move on to the toast. I'm going to make this out of salt dough. 
You can watch my previous salt dough video to get the recipe. I'm rolling out my salt dough to a few millimetres thick and then cutting out a rectangle, roughly using a template of the approximate size I want the slices of bread to be. I'm smoothing out the edges by lightly pressing them and rounding the corners. After baking my two slices of salt dough bread to dry them out, I'm going to paint them. First with a base layer of pale beige and then adding some toasty detail with an orangey brown. I'm lightly brushing this on so the pale colour still shows through. The texture of the salt dough really helps this happen and makes it look more realistic. Next, I'm going to make a plate, which I'm choosing to do using Sculpey. I'm starting by making a small piece of Sculpey into a ball and then pressing it flat between my fingers. I tried rolling out flat on the table and then cutting out a circle, but I couldn't get the smooth rounded edges I was after. Once I've got a flat circle, I smooth it out on the table and then bring the edges up slightly. After baking the Sculpey, I'm going to paint it. I'm going for a stoneware style, which will help excuse the slightly uneven shape of the plate. To add some texture, I'm adding a bit of chalk dust, which I press down and then seal with some varnish. Next up is a jam jar, which I'm making using a split pin and a wooden bead. The top of the split pin will be the lid of the jar, so first I need to cut off the arms. The lid is a little bit big for the bead, so I'm going to cut the bead down to where it gets wider. Because it's a wooden bead, I can do this with a saw. This was a little bit tough, but that may just be due to the sharpness of my saw blade. Then I give the bead a little sanding. Now the lid fits much better. The great thing about using a bead is that it has a hole in, which means I can stick it on the end of a skewer, which will make it much easier to paint. To paint the bead, I'm using nail varnish, as it will give a nice glossy finish, hopefully making it look like glass. I'm starting with the lighter red colour, which requires a few coats. And then moving on to the darker red.
Once the nail varnish has fully dried, I can glue the lid on, which I'm doing using Yoohoo glue. To make a label for the jar, I'm cutting a small piece of paper and then handwriting the flavour, as if this is a homemade jam. I'm also adding the date. I'm going for 2019, because no one wants anything from 2020. Now I need to put some of that jam on the toast. I'm using a mixture of the two nail varnishes and then mixing in some of this varnish which makes the nail varnish kind of lumpy the way jam can be. Once that's dried, I go over it again with some more colour until I'm happy with the way it looks. Next, I need to make a knife, so I'm going to use this foil dish from a mince pie. After cutting out the flat base, I'm going to cut out a knife shape using a craft knife. Then I'm going to put some jam on the edge of the knife by painting on some more of the red nail varnish. With all the elements complete, it's time to assemble my scene. I hope this video gave you some tips for miniature making. There were some things I'd never made before, like the jam jar, so I enjoyed figuring out how to do that. Let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see me make, and stay tuned for another video soon where I make a different scene using this kitchen worktop. Thanks for watching, bye!